Today is May 28th, 2022. Current physique update. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is my fitness transformation update week 72. Current weight 299.8 down from 310 last week. So uh, as I mentioned, I, I I knew I was going to drop a lot of weight by just being uh, a little stri more strict with the diet and keeping carbs out of it. Uh, it wasn't a perfect week for me uh, by any means. I had a couple higher calorie days, although the food choices were positive. Uh, just meaning that basically more meat <laughs> or something, you know, protein and fat based. Um, I did on Friday have a like good size lunch salad with uh, it had tomatoes and Italian dressing, cucumbers, a basic garden salad. Um, so that was definitely not part of the plan. And I had a like a one pound uh, bunless burger to go with it. Um, so basically a little bit of screwed up stuff there. Um, but ultimately, I don't think it impacted things a whole lot, if any. Um, I didn't have any other uh, bad food choices. I did have some zero carb alcoholic beverages during the week, um, a couple like zero carb beers. I tried this new uh, Bud Light Next, and uh, I gotta say it's a it might be zero cal or zero carbs. It's still 80 calories a can, so that was something I definitely increased some of my daily calories on. Uh, a couple of days during the week. Um, so that was kind of, I guess, a cheat-ish. A cheat on calories, maybe not carbs. However, anyway, the beer wasn't that fantastic. It was very watered down. I mean, to say it's it's like not even close to Bud Light watered down. It's like really watered down. Um, and it's almost clear, just like the, the faintest hint of, of yellow. <laughs> um, anyway, I won't be buying that again. I, and I also have been uh, taking advantage of this Baja Bob's uh, Zero sugar margarita mix it does have like three carbs or something per four ounce serving i did have a few uh, of those during the week as well um so i did have some things i shouldn't have had basically i probably maybe slowed down some of my weight loss progress although i still did great i mean who's going to argue with losing 10 pounds obviously most of that's water weight because of the week prior having all the carbs um but uh, I guess on a positive note, most of my diet was on point, just a couple higher calorie days, and I guess uh, the cocktails during the week was not part of the plan. Um, I'm also really thrilled to see my weight finally go under 300 pounds, so I'm going to try to keep going in that direction. Um, it is a holiday weekend, so I hope everyone has a great uh, Memorial Day uh, weekend and be safe. Um, I will probably do some barbecuing, so most of my food will be, you know, protein-based over the weekend. I'm sure I'll have some carbs in there somewhere, um, but hopefully uh, I'll keep it to, uh, like, you know, something moderate. So um, that way I don't have much of a struggle going into next week, getting back on track, and also uh, seeing progress by next Saturday. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I try to get back to everybody. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this week. Um, as you guys know from previous videos, um, I'm getting a lot of my protein macros from uh, Optimal Amino, uh, Essential Amino Acid Supplements. So um, that is how I'm trying to create the largest deficit I can during the week without depriving myself of the muscle building, uh, muscle building blocks, if you want to call it that. So anyway, I'm trying to keep calories super low and uh, not lose muscle in the process of having a huge deficit. And then obviously over the weekend, I'll be eating at maintenance or above um, just to, I don't know, keep my sanity and keep my metabolism going. Uh, although I don't think metabolism slowdown is like a huge thing, I do think it occurs, uh, but I don't think it's as drastic as some people would like it to be. Um, and I think I would continually see uh, pretty significant changes week to week if I keep my deficit in check and I don't have higher calorie days. Um, seeing as I only have five days to really keep on track, uh, I think it's really important that I do that. So um, other than that, activity has been a little up. I had, uh, I've added walking to my uh, schedule again. I'm not doing it religiously every day, but I uh, had a couple days of putting in a couple laps around the block. It's, uh, you know, about two, a little under two and a half miles 
for the two laps. I've also been doing uh, the 100 push-ups a day. Um, not every day, but uh, three days out of the week I have. Um, I haven't gotten back on doing the bands. I've just been kind of failing at that. But anyway, I guess it's baby steps, doing what I can. I think that the, the 100 push-ups a day, if I can get consistent with that, um, and, I, and I break that up, I don't do it all at one time because I can't do 100 push-ups straight if I want to. So uh, I do like 20 five times is what I basically do. Um, so anyway, and I do really controlled, like good push-ups, you know, like I, you know, controlled form down and up, you know, not quick little bang out push-ups. So, um, quality, quality. Uh, anyway, that's all I got. I don't want to make the video any longer. Uh, I want to get this weekend going and, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.